All right, so I'm making a little bit better of a video for the Nano VNA so you guys can see it. Um, I had the camera on the tripod, just didn't work well. So anyways, so what it's going to look like, uh, these are about 60 bucks on Amazon. Um, I've had this one a couple months, so I've had some time to use it, and I can tell you that it's great. Um, uh, there are lots of different ones on there, so beware. So if you want to help me out, you can order it uh, through my affiliate link. It costs the same whether you order it through me or just uh, order it wherever. Um, but eventually, if I get enough, uh, Amazon probably will offer discounts. So um, you should be able to get this in like two or three days. Like I said, it's like $60. Um, this is the Nano VNA H. And uh, the software is 3.6. And as you can see on the back, those are the... Um, bands that it covers frequencies so let's go ahead and turn it on let's see if we can prop this up here it's really hard to film this thing because it reflects really bad so you actually can use your finger on these um i use like a popsicle stick or a guitar pick or the stimulus uh, uh stick that they whatever you call it uh, stylus Okay, so when you start on the first page, you'll normally come default with all the traces turned on, okay? And then it will look like that. So you can see right here that the S11 port 1 is on the left side and the S21 port 2 is on the other side. And we really, we only care about the SWR part for this video. So we touch that. Turn it off and hit back. I wish this thing was a little easier. Okay, so now we're on channel S11 reflected. We could change that to the other one, but we don't want that. That's for testing other things. So keep it on that and back. Um, stimulus is going to be the frequency we want to look at start pick uh, one megahertz okay tap the screen again press the stop we're going to look at 30 megahertz okay tap the screen again now we go into here start stop span then back now that we have that we'll click calibrate we already have some calibrations saved in here and you can click those if you want if you've already got them loaded but we're going to do a new one so we click calibrate and it says open so um you take the one that has no pin in it nothing completely open and apparently that has an effect on this thing. Uh, so it needs to see that. I think you probably could just calibrate it without anything on it. Once that's done, take that one off. And you get the one that's short. You see it's a pin. Solid pin. That's short. Done. Take it off. This one is the load. There is a 50 ohm resistor or something of that such in there. Um, okay. We get the load. Touch that. It's done. So now. Touch done. Save. We'll save it under number two. Okay. So now that it's saved, you're good to go. It will hook up our antenna. So these kits will come with a few things. And um, they will not come with the SMA to SO239 adapter. Um also, make sure that you always short out the connection before you hook it to this, unless you're using an antenna like a loop. 
Okay, so this is what we're looking at, my loop antenna, which is resonant on um, 7580 meters. So you take your jog wheel, and you see right here, we scroll through here, we can look at these dips in the band. Now this is only going to give you a general idea, okay? Because of the resolution. So if you want to get a better idea, you go in and calibrate for something smaller, like say three to four megahertz, okay? Like I showed in the other video where you can't see. So we go through here. Good. So this is really helpful when you're trying to adjust an antenna. You can literally be outside and have this thing hooked up. And you see, oh, it changed. So we got 1.4 SWR on 3.9 megahertz. But uh, if we go in and resolution, um, it'll probably give us a better plot. So I'll show you now what this looks like. Okay, we go into um, our cal. We have, uh, let's see, we want uh, um, back. So I don't think we saved the other one, but so we'll do um, a brand new one. Okay. Stimulus. Start 3 megahertz. And why it does this, I don't know, but you always got to tap the screen again. Stop point, 4 megahertz. Okay. See this? Wow, oh, look at that. Isn't that great? So, we're now looking at this in much clearer resolution. And you can see the pattern of the antenna. We go in here with our jog wheel. Oops, we just turned this thing off. Okay, and apparently it defaults back to that one. Let's go in here. Stimulus, start, 3 megahertz. Stop, 4 megahertz. Boom, there we are. And there's so many other things that you can do here. So we got 1.1 1 .1 at 38... 80 and we can go up here and see well where does our swr start getting bad at 37.50 we're at 3.8 almost 4 to 1 at the end of the band at 4 megahertz we're at 3.7 so this is really a great tool to have especially if you have antennas like a vertical that you're trying to tune that are really touchy like uh, some of the uh, butternuts and hustlers so anyway, I hope this helps somebody. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your buddies that don't know how to use their nano VNAs. And maybe uh, we can all figure out how to put these things to work instead of just buying things that look cool. Thanks for watching.